Well, we have Mama's dryer working. You can see it's doing okay. Uh, the downside is we didn't get the stacking kit. Yes, we were supposed to order the stacking kit apparently, but it didn't give us an indicator for that online. And now it's sitting here until we can get the stacking kit, which is gonna take us two more days. So in the meantime, I ran a little hose underneath here. And did the old, well, you can't see him, but it's the old pair of pantyhose trick. So it's not super, super humid in here yet. We can at least use it a little bit. That's our new machine. I'm leaving the plastic on there until we can get that inside. This is my elevated table. You press a button on that thing and it lifts up. So that'll get it up to the height where we can at least kind of get that in here. And then this is a new washer. Isn't that cool? That's not the water level. I don't know what that is. It's like some sort of some sort of decorative thing. Kind of interesting. Very cool looking. That's for sure. It plays all sorts of uh, little tunes and stuff. And I don't want you to do anything, so I'm just gonna turn it off. And then eventually that light will randomly go out. Unfortunately, it doesn't stay on when the wash is going. It only does, it only goes on when you're like opening it and closing it and stuff. Kind of odd. I wonder if I close that now. Will that go out? Apparently not. Oh well. Hmm. Maybe it never goes out. I don't know. <laughs> what? Taking my picture? Yeah, um, no, that's video, sweetie. <laughs> okay. I was just showing them the machine. Nice. I wanted to wait for it to go through its cool down tone because I wanted to hear the little song it played, but no, whatever. Okay. No, too late. Too late. Can't do that now. <laughs> I didn't know what your plan was. Oh, the light just went out on the washer. Good. I had opened up the washer to look at something and the light didn't go out. Good. Yeah, just press that. Oh. Thing chimes. Nifty little chime. So these are nice and clean. Good. Well, that's nice. They smell good. Yeah. They semi dry. Yes. Good. Just have to get used to all the different cycles. Yeah. Because there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And these are pretty heavy. There is literally a lot of things that this can do. Many of which we'll probably never discover. And if it's hard for you to see this like this, that's okay because it's hard for us to see it like that too because that doesn't light. So if I turn this thing on, I'm going to turn this on. So the only things that illuminate are the settings that you set it for. So like if I start goofing this thing around, it's changing it. So like um, it doesn't look as bad as it looks like right now I can read that this says ultra low. The camera's kind of blown out, so it's not reading that. But it also doesn't, I can't see any of the other things until I turn the knob. I also can't see these buttons, which if I get close to it, you can see it in just the exact correct light. So you can change that, but it's like a real strange touch thing. It's not an actual button. And you can change stuff here, and you can change stuff here, and I'm, that's going to be it. I'm going to cancel. Whoops, I only hit that. That's pause. So I turn it off, and then eventually this thing. Oh, this one might go just by opening it and then closing it. Yeah, it does. The washer has a different behavior, but that's okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. But the washer also has, you can see, this is in like a little dark closet area. It's got the same thing going on. So you, you can't see much of the writing here. This actually looks better on camera than, than it does in, in real life. It'd be nice if some of this stuff was backlit. Once again, you just start turning your little dial to get you to your different settings. And then you can, I don't know what that was. Like I said, it does all sorts of stuff there, who knows? And then I just 
kill it. And then eventually this one will turn off. But like if I open it up, well, that's interesting. The door dripped on the floor a little bit. Hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. All right, and I close that. One of the main reasons why I wanted this little creature was because there's, let me, hold on, let me get a, a light on. So one of the main reasons why I wanted these was because this has this. So you can actually take the filter out and clear this thing. That was a biggie for me because the last one we had, you had to practically take apart the entire wash machine to do it. And I'm not kidding, you had to get around to the back, you had to take the whole face off and then get underneath with pump pliers and squeeze the pump pliers. And I'm like, man, no way. I am not doing that ever again. So this was A1 on my list for looking for machines is to make sure that I had a front um, unit on there. This dripping bit is interesting though. That, that I'm gonna have to, I'm hoping that that's only because she had her real heavy duty pants and they, uh, they might have just dragged some water across the edge. But I'll let you know. Alrighty, everything is back together. Uh, my stepson Dan came over. Um, we had to get the washer and dryer in. And the dryer wouldn't fit on top. So we had to pull the board off the top. What a major, major, well, and by we, I mean Dan. <laughs> so let me show you these beasts in here. it is so that is a beastie it looks like I got to tighten up that leg a little bit to get the washer to stabilize out but yeah they fit in there pretty good let's see here extra light if I hold that for three seconds there we go now we can watch the wash spin yeah that's awesome oh cool that's where the water jet is anyways it's all in there now. Turn my, turn my light off again, I think. So everything had to come out up top here in order to get this thing in. Because as you can see, it is too tall for this area. Despite the fact that the measurements that we had on this thing said that it should fit in that space. So, and uh, I'm not exactly sure how that works. But it's in there now. That's the big thing, but Dan had to do a lot of work on it. We changed out the bifold door that was in here because the bifold door that we had in here was vented and you could hear all the noise in here. Our house is pretty small, so we don't have the room to do a lot of crazy stuff. But um, once she stains that door, you'll never see the difference. It'll look like everything else. And it is super quiet in here. And Ted is happy because he didn't have to hear the pass load gun anymore. And that was a pretty rough time for Ted, I'll tell you that much. All right. Well, Happy New Year, everybody.